All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we'll get started in a second, but let's uh, all stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance real quick. One of the last few times you have to do this. Right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. So thank you for coming. Thank you to everyone at home who is watching the live stream for viewing. And congratulations. Congratulations on a phenomenal four years and for making the most of your high school experiences. I want to start by thanking our school administration, especially our principal, Dr. Ross, who goes above and beyond for all of our students and is dedicated to enhancing the experiences of our student athletes. I would like to thank Dr. Sampson and the Central Administration for their continued support for all of our students as well. A very special thank you to all of our coaches who have mentored and guided you through your careers. And a very special thank you to Ms. Elise Ingui who helped prepare all of our ceremony today. In the short time that I have been here, I've gotten to know many of you and I have witnessed a phenomenal senior class who is deserving of very high praise. You've left a legacy of commitment integrity, and enthusiasm for our underclassmen that you should be very proud of. The purpose of high school athletics is to build character and prepare you for the trials and tribulations which you will surely experience in life. Remember the lessons you learned here and the positive memories that you made, which will last you a lifetime. Lastly, thank you. Thank you for being great role models and upstanding young men and women to work with you are sincerely appreciated. Today, when your coaches call you up, you will receive two things. You will receive an, academ or an, an, academic, an athletic award medal uh, for your achievement as a varsity athlete in our programs, and you will receive a very special shirt which says alumni on it, which is the first uh, alumni shirt that you will have, which again, just corroborates the fact that you were part of the colonial family for a lifetime. Just a quick recap of this year, your senior year. The wrestling team, let's focus on team accomplishments in the year in review. The wrestling team won the B North title for the first time in school history and qualified for the Shore Conference and State Tournament. Yeah, yeah clap, clap for your accomplishments. Recently, this spring, our boys' tennis team won the B North title for the first time since the 2007 season. Our football team continued their success and qualified for the state tournament and won five games this season. Our girls' volleyball team went 16 and five, qualified for the short conference and state playoffs. Our boys volleyball team had the most wins in school history, qualified for the short conference and state playoffs. Our softball team had 13 wins, which was more than they've recorded in the past decade and qualified for the short conference and state playoffs and made it all the way to the Monmouth County tournament finals. This year, we had our first ever competitive cheerleading squad who won first place at the SJV tournament. Our hockey team progressed farther in school history than any other team prior and qualified for the short conference and state playoffs as well. Our boys and girls swim team qualified for the short conference and state playoffs and had several individual accolades. Our boys and girls track program qualified for the short conference and state playoffs and again had several individual accolades. Individually, some of the seniors in this room. Francesca DeVito was the Freehold High School Scholar Athlete of the Year. Emma Gugliata and Tyler Ochoisky were Freehold High School Shore Conference Sportsmanship Award winners. 
Tyler was the Freehold High School Male Shore Conference Athlete Ambassador. Some of our wrestlers who had a tremendous season, Alberto was the District 22 champion at 215 pounds. Brandon was the District 22 silver medalist at 165 pounds and made it to state tournament wrestleback round one. Johnny was District 22 bronze medalist at 285 pounds. Emma finished seventh overall in the Group 3 Championships in winter track after only running winter track for one season. Morgan qualified for the Individual Shore Conference Tournament in golf. Emma was in all B North first team selection for softball at catcher. Tyler was both first team all shore and first team all division in football. Kamor and Yasin were second team all shore and first team all division in football. And Anthony, Christian, Caden were second team all division in football. John Bocieri was the first team all division and set school records for digs. Mike Burns was honorable mention for volleyball. Juliana was first team A North in volleyball. Owen was first team all division B North in soccer. Daniela represented our school in the girls soccer short conference all-star game. Dante and Evan completed their final seasons as managers of the football, basketball, and baseball teams. And I'd like to call up Coach Agabitti to talk about the girls' cross-country team. First of all, congratulations to all our student athletes. Um, we are definitely proud of each and every one of you. But I definitely want to give a special congratulations to the girls cross country team. Um, you guys have been dedicated since day one. I'm not. I'm very proud of you guys. I wish you the best of luck in the future, and just keep moving forward. Whatever you do, congratulations. And you got and girls cross country. You can come up. So as we call you up, you can come up and get your shirt and your award. Oh, all right. They see their names. All right. <laughs> all right, Aria, here you go. Congratulations. You want them to play with you? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. Can't you feed them? <laughs> and I'd like to call up Coach Liebman to talk about our boys' cross country senior. All right, there's, there's only one for boys cross country, but uh, many of the athletes do two or three seasons, so go cross country, winter track, spring track. Uh, just a just great year all in all throughout the, the entire school year, um, and it was nice to get back to a little bit of normalcy. All right, so congratulations. Andrew, come on up. All right, Andrew. <laughs> and I'd like to have Coach Liebman stay here to talk about the boys' winter and spring track and field teams. Well, <laughs> same thing. It, it's been a, a, a good year, and again, most of the athletes do two or three seasons, and some move on to other sports and so on. But a, a great year through and through for both winter and spring track. So thank you.
All right. Man, uh, yeah, spring tracks are nice. Well, I just I put them okay. in the box. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And we have uh, our girls' winter and spring track and field. So both Coach Brzezicki and Coach Lieben. <laughs> Hi, guys and girls. Um, once again, I piggyback off what all the other coaches say. You guys are awesome athletes. Uh, you go above and beyond. You're here every day practicing through the rain, the snow, the sleet, the hail, depending upon what season you do. Um, I want to congratulate you on behalf of everyone here. Um, I know Coach Liebman spoke briefly, too. Um, the girls and boys track team really gave it their all this season. Um, like I said, through all the inclement weather or the good weather in the heat. Um, we had a lot of personal records, which is a good thing, and we continue to build as we move on. Just to save time, we'll get you all your stuff at the end. I think that'll be easier. All right. Oh, wait, coach. Sorry, coach. Yeah. Well, that's why I to keep you up here. All right, sounds good. Yeah. All right, so this year um, the girls went 16 and 5. Like Mr. Mel said, it was an awesome season. Um, we had our first ever uh, freshman girls volleyball program because we've been busting at the seams every year. So thank you to Dr. Ross for allowing that to happen. We appreciate it. Um, since 2008, this year's season went down as one of the top three seasons we had. Um, like Mr. Mel said, we went to the state playoffs. Um, without our full squad, we managed to go three games, two rounds of the state tournament. I was hoping for a little bit further, but you guys did, an, you girls did an awesome job. And from the bottom of my heart, I always tell you, you always have a place here at Free Alberta, come back and visit. So thank you for allowing me to coach you. All right. Next up, I'd like to call Coach Ellis up to talk about our football program. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, first, thank, thank you. Uh, thanks, Dante, our manager. Okay, it's been a pleasure having you for the last couple of years. Uh, also, thank you to our administration and our coaching staff, okay, for making this all possible. Um, you know, our season was you know, I guess you could say it's a lesson in adversity. We planned on having a special year, and uh, sometimes, you know, things just don't go your way. But what I can say about the senior class is, you know, they persevered. You know, they, they kept going. They kept uh, practicing hard every week. And, you know, we, we hobbled into the playoffs. Um, you know, not the team we wanted to be at the end of the year, but, you know, we, we listen, we gave it our all, and we did the best we could. And five and five was that. Um, but, you know, great group of seniors. You guys surely will be missed. And uh, thank you. All right. Um, Coach Parker couldn't be here today, so he wrote a little something that I'll read to you real quick. Um, talking about our three seniors in the field hockey program, he said that these ladies were in the program for four years, and they gave their best each and every day. They were great leaders on and off the field. He was proud to coach you and they were ready to assist their teammates and the underclassmen in any way possible. He wishes them the best of luck in their future endeavors. Thank you so much. And I'd like to call Coach Parsha up to talk about our boys' soccer team. Uh, first off, thank you, Dr. Ross, for all your support throughout the fall, and, and Mr. Mayo for everything that you've done. Short time already here. Um, you know, mantra for the boys' soccer team this year: we hit we hit two and nine at our lowest point, point. Um, and when a lot of teams would have caved and folded and really turned everything in, um, these seniors led the way in actually having the opposite outcome, and were able to turn things around into a positive instead of something that was a complete could have been a complete disaster. Um, so the fact that they uh, kept all the the really the, the lessons of sports, of not letting your highs get too highs, your lows get too lows, and always find some way to persevere, as Coach said, and find some way to grind through is a, is a real attribute to them that goes far beyond um, any field or play, of play that they'll, uh, they'll be a part of. So congratulations, all seniors, um, and thank you so much to these gentlemen up here. Thank you. All right. 
and Coach Ingui to talk about our girls' soccer team. Uh, congratulations, everyone. You guys have done an amazing job. It's been a pleasure to watching every single one of you exceed all expectations. Um, I've had the distinct pr pr privilege of working with my six young ladies for the past four years. We may not have won championships, but you won in character and work ethic. Uh, we made lasting memories, and I'll never forget them. Thank you for everything you've done and given to Borough. And next up to talk about our girls and boys tennis program, Coach Miller. Uh, this is a special set of girls here that we're going to talk about real quick. Um, uh, Sarah, McHale, and Kayleen, they were here all four years. They really put forth a great effort, really kept this team together. Uh, and any day I could count on those three to help us through the low times and really enjoyed the good times of their senior year when we were 8 and 10. Uh, we really had a shot there to really do something special, but it kind of just fell through at the end, and they kept everybody up really high. Uh, Hannah, Sanjana, and Jalen were there three years. Uh, and Audrey, those are two good years that you gave us for the program. These girls are so close that four of them are actually going to be uh, roommating in college. So give a hand to those ladies. All right, for the boys, uh, the boys also uh, deserve a little extra because they actually lost the season due to COVID a couple years ago. Uh, in the last two years, they actually went 20 and four in B North. This year went 12 and 0 to win the division title for the first time since 2007. <laughs> and uh, you know, it, it means something when you lose a season. Uh, Shiva Mehta, our senior captain, uh, recorded 29 wins in really only two years. Uh, he really, and that was our second singles player, so he was the rock that really helped us get over to get that championship this year. Um, also, uh, another player that was a co-captain, Ayan Ahmad, 20 wins in only two seasons. Uh, these kids were there for every practice, every meet. Um, they never complained. They never complained that in the last two years we haven't had a home practice or a home match. So in the last two years, last four seasons for the boys and girls were on the road the whole time. So never once complained, never once gave an argument about it, but thank you very much. <laughs> well done. All right, and next up to talk about our cheerleaders, Coach Ortner. Hi, everyone. Um, all right. So as seniors, these girls positively led the team with incredible dedication and teamwork. Um, all four girls continuously had positive energy, and they always encouraged the team to be the best student athletes that they could be. Um, as captains, Emily and Amanda worked together to not only be a positive influence, but they also helped bring the team to be the first ever competition cheerleading team that Freehold High School has ever had. Um, and we had gotten first place at our SJV competition. Um, <laughs> To say I am proud is an understatement. I cannot wait to see the amazing things that you girls accomplish. I'll always be your biggest cheerleader. And everyone in the room, congratulations on finishing your career as a free old athlete. Thank you. All right. I'm going to speak about our ice hockey team. Uh, Coach Moskowitz couldn't be here today and Coach Riley, but they, they wish everyone their best. So this is from Coach Mosk. You spent four years competing and battling, four years of hard work for your teammates on and off the ice. I had the pleasure of coaching all of you for at least two seasons, this past one as your head coach. With your hard work and leadership, this young team made it further than any team in our school's history. The coaching staff and your families could not be more proud of you. Your teammates will miss you, but cherish all the moments and memories that you have shared together for the rest of your lives. Good luck in your future endeavors. I know that if you approach each endeavor with the passion and hard work you showed me the past two years, nothing will ever stand in your way. Congratulations to our ice hockey seniors.
take more than half? Just take more than half? Hmm. All right. We'll go to our boys basketball team real quick because I see Coach Tobias. All right. How's everybody doing? All right. Thank you, JC. Um, just wanted to recognize our, our six seniors that we had this year and wish them all the luck in the future and let them know that obviously the door is always open to them uh, to come back whenever they would like. Uh, first, we'll start with the captain, John Bucheri. Mike Burns. Joe Calio. Hector Rodriguez, uh, David Suarez, and Timmy Springer. All right. Coach Sinto couldn't be here today, um, so I'll speak real quickly on behalf of our girls basketball team. Um, the team had a, a rough start to the season. Um, but as the season progressed, these three leaders showed their character and their, their leadership qualities by leading the team to a six-game winning streak, um, closing out the season very strongly um, and building off of a very, very bright future. Um, if you came and watched the team, you could see the, the passion and the commitment and just the overall leadership that these three showed every single time they stepped on the court, and they will be sorely missed. Congratulations, ladies. All right, and next to speak about our two softball seniors, Coach D'Antonio. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you very much. Um, thank you to the administration, Dr. Ross and uh, Mr. Mel, uh, for all your support this year. Seniors, uh, everybody, all the seniors, uh, good luck in your next endeavor in life. Um, and uh, just piggybacking on what everybody else said, you guys, you know, you're part of a family, um, and you're always welcome back. Um, so we're, we're all proud of you here. Um, for, for as far as the softball team, uh, Emma and Vanessa did a great job leading us. We had, uh, you know, as, as we said earlier, a uh, pretty historic season for us, our best season in over a decade. Um, and these seniors led the way. Um, they did a tremendous job, and they're definitely going to be missed. So uh, Emma and um, Vanessa, we thank you. Just a couple of highlights besides the ones that uh, – Mr. Mel uh, went over before. Uh, we, we won our first game at Matawan, who was a state finalist. We beat them 8-3 the first game of the season. Kind of set the tone for us, and those two girls were leaders right off the bat. We won at Wall on, senior, on their senior day, 5-3. Uh, we beat Homedale twice in the first round of the Monmouth County and Shore Conference. Uh, we beat Lawrence in the first round of the states, and we obviously made the Monmouth County Blue final. We came up a little bit short, but... You guys, you girls are champions in my book. Congratulations, everyone. Coach Block couldn't be here today, um, but I invite Coach Maleo up to talk about our senior baseball players. Thanks, Mr. Mel. Um, congratulations to all the seniors in the room um, on just completing their senior season. Um, baseball fell short, a little bit of expectations this year, and when that happens, we have kind of the year that, that we had. It can be easy for a coach to start dreading going to practice every day, but that never happened with our coaching staff, which is a testament to our seniors. They showed up every practice until the end with just their hard work ethic and um, just their positive outlook um, in general, which is a huge testament to their, to their character. Um, and actually told a lot of them at the end, we had our uh, senior meetings, and that, that, that trickles off the field as well. So they're going to be successful in whatever they choose to do after high school. And uh, I just want to thank them. Thanks, guys. Next up is Coach Walk to talk about our very successful boys volleyball team. So the boys' volleyball team came out, and they had uh, their most wins in school history. Um, and it is a pure testament to these guys. You see them here. You see a couple over there. 
um, these seniors that came out and they they for two years basically pushed the team to get better. Um, what I'll give them to the biggest thing I'll give them though is um, they enjoyed it. They went out and they had a blast every day. They had a ton of fun playing the game and it bled into the rest of the school. And we had probably the biggest turnout just in tryouts ever, um, which is huge. And it's these guys laying groundwork from years ago and getting people excited about the program. And I appreciate you seniors. Thank you guys for building the program. <laughs> Right, and to talk about our golf program, Coach Blum. Yeah. All right, first, uh, congratulations to all the seniors and good luck in the future and whatever you guys choose to do. Um, so for our three seniors, it's actually for Owen, unfortunately. Obviously, we all know he got hurt right before the season started, but so he would have been on the team too, but unfortunately he got injured. Uh, but one good thing about these guys is the one thing with golf, unlike ever the sport, the coach can't watch everybody at once. Uh, everybody spread out all over the course, and it was nice to know to have three seniors that could teach the younger classmen the right way to do things out on the golf course because there is some expectations out there on the way that you should act on a golf course. So that's the biggest thing that, you know, I can't thank those guys enough for, you know, setting the foundation for the future uh, for the program. Mr. Lackis couldn't find coverage. Hello, I'm the girls' golf coach, Coach Lackis. <laughs> I'm here today to recognize the participation of two seniors in the program who will be graduating this year, Alyssa Marks and Morgan Allori, or as I refer to them, Frick and Frack, two peas in a pod. For a sport that requires etiquette and discipline to the rules, they brought character and a flair for the dramatic, which I enjoyed thoroughly, but often reminded them of the latter. I will miss them dearly and appreciate their commitment and sportsmanship they exhibited over the four years uh, as members of the program. I wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors. Coach Lack. All right. Thank you, Coach. And to talk about our boys and swim, uh, boys and girls swimming program, Coach Cooper. Alrighty guys, well congratulations, you made it. Looking out at you guys, yeah, you're here. This is the fun part of the year. Um, great to watch you guys. One thing that stood out with your class is the support that you all had for each other um, across every team. Every single time we came in from football practice, there's a line down the soccer field of you guys cheering each other on. Um, you guys getting crazy at hockey games, you're at wrestling matches, you're at volleyball matches, you're out at the, so it's just awesome that you have that spirit. And it's something that makes the borough special. Um, being in a few different places, you guys all support each other. And, uh, and that is just really awesome. I hope that's something you take with you as a whole, as a class. So uh, be proud of that. Be proud of wherever you're going next. Um, and congratulations to all you guys as a whole, all right? Um, so boys swimming. Uh, we had a really successful year. Boys were five and four. Um, for the first time in, I think, about 10 years, we had a winning season. Um, and a big part of that was the seniors back there, um, the best leadership we've had since I've been with the program. Uh, the boys broke three school records this year. One of them was the uh, 400 uh, relay, the free relay, and two of our seniors were on that. Um, so that was awesome. Um, and uh, we took eighth place, in the, eighth place in the Monmouth County which again is a huge tribute to, usually we're one of the smallest teams in the Shore Conference, but uh, we had put up some really, really great times, a lot of personal bests, um, so a lot of success with the boys team. Um, for the girls, not as much success, but they absolutely had the most fun of any team. Um, you know, they, uh, Anna was coming up with chants. Uh, that's a swimming thing. I don't know if anybody knows that. The teams actually chant at each other before and after the meet. I think it's the only sport that does that. So they came up with some creative chants. They had so much fun, um, and they made it fun for me. Uh, just know, seniors, you left the program better than you found it. All right, you're always family, and congratulations, guys.
And last but not least, Coach Shepard and our wrestling program. Nice, we get to close the show. Hello, everyone. Congratulations. Awesome to see you guys. This is a very exciting time of year. And it's exciting for us. We get to, to sit and, and reflect. You get to reflect on your four years here. You get to reflect on your season and all the work that you put in. And these young men, uh, their names are behind you. That's the whole team right there. Uh, we did something we've never done before. All right? <clears throat> never. And I, I remember, you know, one of the things that wrestling teaches you, very famous guy Dan Gable said, once you've wrestled, everything in life is easy. I would, I'd, I'd modify it. I don't think everything becomes easy. I think it becomes easier. Because you learn about hard work, you learn about discipline, you learn how to deal with setbacks. We had a really bad loss, really bad loss early. All right, I think it was Coach Mel's first, first foray into what wrestling's like here at the borough. And we're a problem with, like, we pack it in here. All right, the fans come, you guys fire it up. It is an atmosphere that people do not like to come into. All right, and we wrestled that other team from our town, and they got the best of us. They're one point better. And it's tough to lose to them. And we got the guys in, and I told them to look up. And there's, you know, we've been around since 1926. I said, find the wrestling banner. I said, there is none. I said, you can still do that. And we did. And, you know, normally you can pack it in when things get hard, but that's not what you do when you wrestle. And so, you know, for the rest of their lives, when you guys, are, when you guys have families and you bring your sons to school, you can point up at a banner and say, you know what, my dad did that. My dad was a part of that team, and that's a very special thing you guys are going to carry on. So I want to congratulate you guys. I want to congratulate everyone here, and uh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you to all the uh, coaches for recognizing your teams and your players and the tremendous job that you've done over four years. Uh, here's a quick list of just our multi-sport athletes, um, people who played multiple sports through, through this year. Um, so he, here are our female athletes, so we can give a nice round of applause for them. And here are our male athletes. All right. So again, I want, I want to personally congratulate you on your, your journey as a colonial these past four years. Um, I hope it's been special and, and a positive experience for you. Uh, and like the coaching staff has reiterated to you time and time again, just, just because you graduate doesn't mean that this ever leaves you. Um, this, you know, high school athletics, high school sports, and your experience here is supposed to last you a lifetime. Um, and these memories with your friends uh, are what matter most. Um, so thank you for coming. Uh, in a moment, I'd ask you to come up. We have your shirts uh, itemized by your last name with your medal. Um, and then once we get our shirts, we can head into the uh, hallway there where we have dessert uh, and water. All right. And we'll chill here and enjoy each other's company for the next few minutes. <laughs> and and uh, thank you, guys. Coaches, could you just uh, come help hand out your shirts with your athletes real quick?